Hello you guys, it's me. So, I'm gonna be doing a video today on what I did at the Traveler's Caravan. Um, the first day of the caravan here in Colorado was June 6th, and I was so happy that I was able to go. So, I've been collecting Traveler's Notebooks now for around a month. I think next week will be an official month. Um, but, yeah, I had a really good time. So I decided that I did want to stamp like the bags and the covers, but I wanted to make sure that the bags and the covers, um, I guess that they came out good. So I was like, I'll just bring a piece of paper. And then I was like, I'll bring another piece of paper. I'll bring three and then I'll just stamp these up completely so that I'll basically have them like if I want them for something. This is definitely my favorite stamp. This one and this one. I do like these as well. Um, but yeah, the black stamps turned out to be my favorite stamps. However, I decided I was going to stamp the bags. And you guys, I thought the ink was permanent ink. So coming home that night, I spilled a cup of coffee all over it. I went to Dutch Bros and I got an iced golden eagle. I spilt it all over the um, cloth bags and look, they are completely ruined. Like they, they were so pretty. They really were. So all the ones that were stamped in black ink are just completely destroyed. Um, this one actually came out even after being washed. It's not that bad. Like it's, it, it was so, it looks so good. Um, before I made my mistake, this one also, it looked so good. I don't know if the camera's picking it up that well, but I mean, it looks so horrible now, but it looked amazing when I first stamped it. So my goal is to go back and um, stamp it on the last day of the caravan and hope that, I guess that it looks good. I don't know. That might be a bad idea to stamp over it, but knowing me, I'm going to try. But I also stamped the covers and these came out amazing. If nothing else, the, the covers inside, they stamped pretty well. And I'm never going to like do anything to the inside of the cover. So I'm pretty much good to go. So this is actually the olive. I hope it's picking up on the camera. This is my olive. I do have an unboxing for it. And it came out just so good. So on my passport ones, I didn't really go as crazy. I took this camel one, but I decided not to stamp it inside. Um, I don't know what I'm saving it for, but I'm saving it for something. My original plan was to basically just buy two camels and call it a day. I bought these two camels on the same day. This one has just been through more as far as like treatments are concerned, but it's stamped so beautifully at the Traveler's Caravan. It really did. And I am so happy with the inside. This one I didn't stamp inside, like I said. Here is the regular size of um, Olive. I really hope that the camera's picking it up. And then look at that inside. It just looks so good. Initially, I was just gonna stamp like the bags and call it a day. I didn't wanna risk stamping inside, um, but let me, it just looks so good in here. Like, I really, really, really love it. And I kind of like the fact that, you know, even though this stamp didn't come out perfect, it doesn't really matter because my plan is for these to look and age really um, aesthetically pleasing, but old. I want them to look old and worn, and I want them to look like they've been passed around for generations. Um, you know, this isn't a perfect stamp, but I don't need it to be for it to be beautiful. And so, oh, and then my brown ones. 
so I think last week or like four days ago I can't remember um I oh I didn't take this out I um I got these and I unboxed them and this is the brown I also decided to go ahead and actually put like um well I used hand cream but if you've seen what that camel looked like before in other videos or even on my Pinterest, it's looking way healthier now, the leather, than when I first initially showed it. But you guys, look at that stamping. This is just super beautiful. I love that stamping. The pollen from these orchids are getting everywhere. But yeah, so this one got stamped and I think this one just has one stamp as well. Yes, because it was still kind of rough in here, I didn't want a chance like messing up a stamp. So I just put, have a nice trip. And um, this one may be the one I travel with. This camel was supposed to be the travel one. But as I started to buy them and started to kind of fill up the notebooks, um, I realized, yeah, maybe, maybe just one isn't gonna really work for me. It could, but I'm not trying to make it work for me. Um, I really, I know this is something I will stick with for a long time. That being said, I also, um, I got the stamps, not the stamps, the stickers. I was able to get all three of the stickers. I don't really know if anyone has showed the stickers yet, but this one is so pretty. It is super pretty. I love this. And then coffee. I love coffee. I'm hoping that next year um, they'll have another like coffee traveler's notebook. Because that for me is something legitimate that I would want. That I feel like is like, you know, me. Coffee and me. Coffee and me. Tea and me. Chocolate and me. If it's like gourmet chocolate. Like actual gourmet chocolate macaroons and me but look at this it's just it's so pretty I really love it I don't think I'll use these stickers since I don't really as far as I know you can't get them again um so okay now we have the haul so I'm gonna do the haul in part two so that the video won't be that long okay thank you guys so much for watching if you are going to the travelers caravan or if you have been um like what did you buy like what was your experience did you film it tell me all about it down below in the comment section okay thank you guys so much for watching i will be doing the haul next for what i bought thank you guys again bye bye